Dr. Busick, Gord McCann, pastors and delegates and friends of this assembly, it's my pleasure to give you my first pastor's report of the Cowichan Valley Nazarene Church. My wife, daughter, and I moved from uh, just north of Edmonton right after this past Christmas in the dead of winter through northern BC. It was eventful, experienced a multiple day delay because of weather in northern BC. But regardless, we arrived a few days later than expected, but safe and sound. So we've been here for about six months and uh, it's been kind of cool to see how God has been moving in some people in our church and in our community. Uh, We are renting right now and our landlords are a younger couple and they have two children. After we were there for about two months, her mother passed away. Uh, And our church just covered them in love and support and prayer in very tangible ways. And as a result, uh, they they started attending our church. Uh, They hadn't been attending church since they were teenagers. Uh, They have since completely plugged in, uh, kind of recommitted their life to the Lord. Uh, They hosted a new ministry in our church. They were one of the uh, homes that Um, hosted a life group in their house we started in May Um, and uh, yeah they've just plugged in and we've been enjoying their presence and uh, and God is working through them so it's just been really neat to be uh, a witness of that. So one area that I have uh, continued to grow in is in the area of my personal prayer life. Uh, I'm a, I'm a prayerless guy. I have a fluid prayerless document on my phone uh, that I try uh, praying for daily. Uh, at the top of my prayer list, I have a quote from Richard Foster. And it says, prayer catapults us onto the frontier of the spiritual life. Of all the spiritual disciplines, prayer is the most central because it ushers us into perpetual communion with the Father. And uh, I've, I'm just amazed how God continues to, to work in me in that area and work in others in that area. And, uh, and I just praise him and thank him for that. Respectfully submitted, Kevin Austin.